Welcome to chapter 15. Yeah, this is already chapter 15. Crazy. Um, we're jumping into Chandelar again. And I actually found out, I got some tips from people that um, it's getting dangerous. Like I'm getting dangerously close to actually losing the game. Um, last week, you saw me get slaughtered in the Red Castle by the Red Wizard. And I think what I need to do this week um, let's try to get the sword. Let me just check because I've got some city info. There is a sword that I can get somewhere. Let's have a look. Let's see. Here we go, sword of resistance. Okay, that took a while. So I need to go to Phyrexian Steading to get the sword of resistance. And if I get the sword, it's gonna be, I can get teleport to the cities that are under attack. So this is really an important world magic. So let's remember Phyrexian Steading. Let's have a look, where is Phyrexian Steading on the map? Phyrexian Keep, okay, here's Phyrexian Steading. So I'm here right now. So I think if I go down really quickly, Let's see, I've got, got money, I can buy off a few people. My deck is looking solid, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight down, try to get the world magic and then teleport to cities that are under attack. That's kind of the plan right now, so. Let's go. And then of course, I mean, we'll, we'll deal with the red castle later. So I'm just going to pay 90 gold. I just want to go down as fast as I can. Let's see where are we at. Okay, so we're now here. So we got to go this way and this way. It should be over. Go down, go down. It's another city. So far, so good. Okay, so now I just got to go to the left. I should be there. I'm just ignoring everything. I'm like super focused. Trade black amulets for any sorceries. Really? I've got three black amulets. Let's see. Am I working on a deck or something still? My reanimator built. Oh man, my Tron built. All my plants are going nowhere, but let's see what I can trade for. Sorcery. Maybe sinkhole. I could go for sinkhole. It's only one. Wow. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to get three sinkholes. That's funny. It's nasty. I know, but I think I can use them. Any sorceries. Wow. But I'm not going to do it though. I'm going to, um, I really want to focus on the wizards that are attacking villages at the moment. Look at this. Okay. I'm going to pay the gold and I'm going to use the sword. Oh, wow. He wants my time walk. Okay, let me just get some coffee. I just gotta win this against the Hydra. Whatever, man, I'm confident. Okay. We have the sun. Start the duel. What's my hand? Brain Geyser, Sengir, Control Magic, Sengir. Time walk, of course, with all the time walks. So I'm gonna go for Swamp first. I do that for a reason because then if my opponent has like land removal, he targets the swamp, you know, and then I still have the island maybe, you know, to get another land and play a time walk. So here we go. Mm, am I going to cast the time walk? I'm going to, I'm going to give it a turn. I'm going to give it next turn. If I don't draw a land, then I'm going to cast a time walk just to get the land, but I'm going to be patient for now. Okay, he's not doing anything. That's good. Okay, now I'm not drawing a land, so I'm going to play Time Walk. And hopefully draw into land. Oh, man, that is not great. Didn't I have a lot of land issues last time? Now it's kind of all coming back. It's been a while ago. I think I have to check my deck. Probably should have done it before starting to play against these guys, but... Oh man, this is really bad. Now I've got to discard a spell. Oh, this is so bad. Discard counter spell. Oh, this is so bad. 
I mean, this is not what I want to do, you know, discarding stuff. Okay, at least an island. Um, I'm going to go for Tim. Yeah, I was expecting Tim to die. Okay, this is good. So now I've got a hippie. The problem, of course, is I cannot do two things. So I think... I'm gonna brain geyser for two because then perhaps next turn I can, you know, I can hopefully get an island with the brain geyser and then I can play hippie with counter magic um, next turn. That's kind of the plan. Done. Let's see what I'm gonna draw. Okay, strip mine an island. That's pretty good. So hopefully I can kind of get control back of this game. Luckily for me, my opponent has only cast a wall of fire. And a lot of soul nets. It's going to be difficult to kill this opponent. Okay, so I'm going to go Island. I'm going to go Hypnotic Spectre. And now I have the Counter Magic back up to save it if he wants to remove it from the game. I mean, I feel like this dragon is full of bolts and out of burn. It's just going to try to kill all my creatures. Ah, this is annoying. Um, maybe I should have countered the hive, actually. Ooh, this is really good. So what I could do now is I can... Okay, and he's got five mana, so I could strip mine. You know what I'm going to do first? Just attack. It's always good to first go into combat, see what happens. Okay, um... Then I'm going to, let's have a look. You know what I'm gonna do? Sacrifice land, and I'm gonna time walk. Magic is so much easier when you've got like four time walks in your deck, which is insane, I know. Um, let's play factory, let's attack first. Okay, so he's losing he's losing a land, which is good because he needs, I believe, five, right? Yeah, the hive is five to activate. I'm gonna play my Sengir. Taking over control, yeah. Oh, he found he found a mountain. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna attack again. Let's see what he does. Maybe he's gonna block the, the vampire. That's too bad. Um, let's cast this one. One, two, three, four, and five. And now I still have uh, counter magic open, which is great. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, another wasp. These wasp tokens will be annoying. Um, I think what I need to do is just keep pressure on. I mean, he's on 11 already, so he has to start blocking. Ooh, he's gonna double block, of course. Ooh, that was kind of stupid. Should have just attacked with the vampires. On the other hand, I mean, I am killing both of the wasps. I mean, that's 10 mana of investment, right? And if he makes one now, I can use control magic and then win the game. So he's gonna attack and he's gonna take the damage. Okay, so my plan's quite simple. I'm going to steal the wasp token. I don't even have to actually, because he's on three, but I'm still gonna do it. Steal the wasp token, then I'm gonna attack with both of the singers. And I'm gonna free the city. Yes, take the cards, please. Trade blue amulets for any lands. Okay. Ooh, Simbad is such a cool card. What do I have? 90. 10 food for 20 gold. Maybe I should sell some blue here. Two twenty for acid rain. Wow. Not going to sell it though. Energy tap. I could sell five only. Four spike. Look at look at the amount of four spikes. I've got six four spikes. Wow, red gives a lot here. Wow, that's 
It's amazing. Uh, I do have some red cards I want to dump here. I've got a lot of red stuff. Okay, roll of dust I could sell. Roll of fire I could sell. Mm, that's about it, to be honest. Let's see, Barbary Apes, only 15. Okay, so I've got 61 cards in a deck, so I gotta lose a card. Oh wow, I'm still here on the Blue Elemental Blast show. Let's let's just, you know, take him out for now. Um, I wanna play Amnesia, I think that's pretty cool. Um, My Modi? How many Modis do I play? I'm already playing two Modis. Um, Psionic Blast, I guess. Pretty good. Wow, I'm all the way here. I think I'm just gonna walk back to the castle. What if I click on this again? Okay, then I'm still I'm gonna be teleported to... So it doesn't teleport me to cities that are already, you know, conquered. Okay, that's nice. Let's go into the boats. What is the total casting cost of spirit shackle? I think it was two black, wasn't it? Yeah. Ooh, Northern Paladin, that's kind of nice. Accept tribute for your mercy, sure. Secrets on a blue castle. I, I like a white dual, uh, jewel. East. Am I going there anyway? To where am I now? I don't think I'm going there. Leave the mess. Uh, leave the village. I mean, whoa, 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 whoa! An island. Yeah. An island. Give me the islands. Magical hack. Bok imp. Abomination. That's a pretty cool card. Green or white, I'm gonna buy it. Um, a mana link, wow. Take this message west of my brother, the keeper of Windless Glade. Where's Windless Glade? Let's see, oh, okay, I'm going towards Windless Glade. I'd love, I would love another mana link. Um, let's have a look, Windless Glade, okay. Nothing to buy here. Speak to the wise man. You failed to complete your last vi village quest. Okay, whatever, man. Don't live in the past. Don't do it. Oh, I gotta go down. Windless Glade. Duel the Centaur Shaman, sure. I just wanna I just wanna beat all these people so they start giving me some mercy money. Mm, start to duel. I've got island, I've got swamp, I've got time walk, willow, willow, contract. Wow, this is a really good hand. I mean that contract from below is amazing. Like I can go, you know, time walk. Let's first just play another willow. Gonna pass, and I've got amnesia. Oh, I've got amnesia in hand. Do I want to discard amnesia? Let's go time walk. Why not? Okay, we're gonna find a swamp. I think I'm gonna play the Tim. We can, I mean, I can always play contract from below later. A wanderlust. Oh no, that's this. This is this deck. Oh man. Um, I'm gonna play contract. The ghost ship is added to it. Okay. Um, Mamoti Jin, Sengir, Counterspell, lots of lands, which I'm a I'm actually happy with the lands. I am not complaining. You know, I can just get land number five. Oh man, I can get land number five. Cast Sengir. Let's ping the Centaur. 
I mean, it's a little bit r risky, right? Because I'm taking two damage a turn from the Wanderlust and the Cursed Land, so... I have to really put some pressure on his life, but I think I can, you know. I've got Sengir, I can, I can ping for one every turn, swing in for four, I can play Maamoti next turn. I mean, you've got to do what you've got to do, right? Carrying ants? Okay, well, I can block carrying ants. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ping the carry Nance. Take a damage. Take a damage. Um, I think I'm also going to ping the birds. I just want to attack with the vampire and really just swing in for maximum damage. Um, let's first attack. He stepped out though, so I might as well just... Play out the Mammoth, but anyway, let's do that now. Play Mammoth Jin. So next turn I can swing in for nine, plus the ping is 10, plus the Psionic Blast, he's dead. I also have the factory, so. Should be a done deal, people. Mm, let me think, what is wisdom for me? Let's take the damage first. Let's play Psionic Blast. Okay. Oh wow, a time walk. That is really good. Um, let's go change to assembly worker. Then we don't want to choose our last blue source, right? So he shoots. No, he's not going to die yet. So I do need that extra turn, actually. I mean, look at this. I can get him to one. It's a little bit glitchy. You know, that's always kind of scary when they start to glitch. Anyway, I'm gonna take my turn. Let's ping him. Let's do it in style. Curse land damage, wonderless damage. Winning the game! Oh, that bogging art's kind of cool. Hey, and I found another sinkhole. So I've got four sinkhole now. Wow. Okay, one D amulet. Let's go. They're, they're happy with me. Okay, uh, red amulet for any sorcery. I don't really have good red amulets. Carrion ants, look at how expensive carrion ants. Let's see if I have any black cards to sell because they're like fetching top dollar here. Let's do the bog imp. Oh, it's only 15. 515 for my carrion ants. Should I sell it for 515? Cosmic horror? 345, I'm gonna sell it. I feel bad because I love Cosmic Horror, but yeah, can't play it. Oh, we've got two Guardian Beasts. Got so many cool cards. I think I can make a really kick ass mono black deck actually looking at this list. It's pretty insane. Oh, I've got five sinkholes. I guess I could sell one for 120. Siphon Souls, Wall of Bones, Weaknesses. Anyway, let's get back to focus. What I want to do is I want to go into the Red Castle. So I'm going to play with four Blue Elemental Blasts. I'm going to take out the Psionic Blast. I'm going to take out a Counter Spell. Um, hmm what to take out people this is tough amnesia I guess and you know let's take out a willow let's take out a willow wisp maybe instead of willow because they were selling let's see maybe yeah let's do another dancing scimitar I think dancing scimitar is quite good you know four mana one five in the air so it can block everything I think it's quite nice I'm gonna go into the red castle I'm first gonna save because not too long ago uh, the program glitched on me so I'm gonna just put the charger on here because I'm seeing I only have 10% battery so that's probably a good idea um, let's see okay so I'm gonna go into the red castle which is very close Gonna do it, people, into the red castle. Here we go, into the red zone. 
Don't want to fight against these dudes. Just want to go into Red Castle. Okay, Red Castle's there. Okay, here we're gonna go. Yes, enter the castle. Power surge in effect. Oh, that is painful. That got me killed last time, the power surge. Power surge is a very annoying card. Um, okay. I get two life extra. That's, I mean, that's needed. You know, when you've got power surge in play, that's, that's needed. Um, pooh, where to go? Where to go? Okay, even more life. Even more life. So I'm getting a lot of life, which is nice. I think I'm just gonna go here as well. I'm saying you're a vampire, wow. Shall I? Yeah, let's challenge this guy, because I've got a Sengir. Play first. Okay, let's start the duel. What do I have? We've got a trike, a factory, a dark ritual, a blue elemental blast, a dark ritual, and hippie, an island. Okay. So I'm gonna go. Hmm. You know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about factory, and I can hit him for six next turn. This plays super aggressive. On the other hand, I could go island and protect my Sengir and possibly kill the Power Surge. I'm gonna go Island. Let's attack. I think end step I'm gonna do Blue Elemental Blast on the Island, on the Power Surge. Okay. Let's do Blue Elemental Blast. There we go. Now let's attack. Again, my mana base is problematic. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm gonna take the risk here, like maybe he's got a bolt, but I just assume that he doesn't because like I'm not playing exactly I'm not playing when you're playing against a real person I would have never activated it here I would have just taken the one damage but you know this is the AI so it's a little bit different there we've got the polka band okay so we've got a swamp which is good I can do double swamp and then into a Sengir Ooh, I have not expected better probably right I want to attack No, you know what? I'm gonna go double. Oh, I can do Sengir already. Okay, so let's play Sengir. Let's go Sengir. I mean, he's on four. I've got two four for flyers. I've got to be all business here. You know, this is this is the castle. This is the red wizard. You know, I've got to be business like. Okay, let's just attack. Okay, that's good. Okay, 17 life. Found a bag of jewels and gold. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Um, I am gonna go this way. I'm gonna explore that part. Okay, fair enough. I do have some dice here I could just get. I think I'm just gonna get it. Okay, another Sengir Vampire, wow. Um, and now the question is what to, where to go? Let's go, let's go for the Ape Lord. Let's do the Ape Lord. Mm, starting with the Fire Drake. Play first. Ooh, I gotta take a mulligan. I've got no mana, I take the mulligan. Okay, let's see, I've got Island, Island Swamp, Counterspell, Royal, Modi, Sengir. Okay, so pretty, like, heavy hand, but, you know, it's okay. I'm going to take damage from the Search, though, and that Fire Drake's going to attack. But next turn, I can have Counter Magic back up, so... 
Oh, this is really nice. This time walk is really sweet. Wow, life would be so much simpler if I could always play a deck with four time walks. That's like insane. Actually, the game wouldn't be as fun, to be honest. It would be too overpowered for sure. Like one is already like really, really good. Bring it on, man. You know what? I'm gonna counter this. Because it's gonna save me two point of damage and a creature because of the power surge, right? It's gonna save me that damage. Now I'm only taking one point. Gonna attack. I'm not super happy with the situation because if he finds something to remove, look at that, he's killing my sing here. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, this is good. Another control magic. I'm gonna go Dancing Scimitar. Mm, what to do, what to do. I feel like I gotta control magic. I gotta take over this one. Let's attack. Oh wow, okay. I guess, oh he died from the power surge probably. That was quick. Anyway, ooh, look at what's happening here. More life to be gained. Okay, we've got a question and dice, so we're gonna go for that. Which of these spells has a regeneration ability? White Knight's got First Strike Pro Black. Diabolic Machine from the Dark has regeneration. Abomination is pro green, pro white. Wall of Stone is just an 08 wall. Goblin King gives all the goblins mountain walk and plus one plus one, so it's Diabolic Machine. Yay! Another, I'm just getting so many Sengirs here in this dungeon. I love it. Um, I'm gonna just duel the Ape Lord. Okay, winning the toss. I would love to play first. Uh, Hypnotic Spectre, Sea of Brass, Mistress Factory, Dark Ritual, Time Warp, Counterspell, Island. Okay, so I can go Ritual into Hippie. Wow, that is, that is, this living the dream. That is living the dream. There we go. And now we're gonna attack. Okay, so far so good, right? There's a Mana Vault. Good card, Mana Vault. Oh, I love it. Using your Mana Vault to cast Dragon Engine. <laughs> That's not smart. Hilarious. I do like Dragon Engine. A fun fact about Dragon Engine, it was a rare in uh, in Revised. So, you know, you could open a Revised booster and just get Dragon Engine as a rare, which just felt like a total dud. Even then, even then. Um, look at this, I've got double time walk. This is insane. I feel bad for my opponent, but not really, because I really want to beat the um, the wizard here. Okay, he's gonna go for factory and time walk. Let's go like this and this so I don't take any damage. Let's attack again. Okay, and I'm gonna take on my extra turn. Yeah, like there's no way you can win against double time walk and starting with the Sengir Vampire in the game. That's just brutal. Hmm. Let's go back. Let's go get some more dice. Ooh, another Sengir. Okay. I mean, that's enough for me. I'm going to leave that dice there. I feel I'm really lucky in this dungeon so, so far, you know, getting all the, the Sengirs. Hmm, okay, let's duel against the monkey. Okay, play first. 
Start the duel. What do we have? A swamp, dense scimitar, country from below, swamp, dark ritual, swamp, dark ritual. Wow, what a weird hand. That is, that is interesting. Um, I guess I could do dark ritual. Into dark ritual. Into dancing scimitar. Into contour from below. Right, that makes sense. Okay, I really don't want to lose this because I don't want to lose my time walk, but. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I mean, look at my new hand. I've got Island, Strip Mine, Swamp, Island. Trike is really good. Control Magic is really good. Let's see, what could I do? I could go Strip Mine, Strip the Forest. Probably better to go Island next turn, try to play the uh, the Hippie. I think it's better. Um, let's attack with the same gear. I'm gonna keep the dancing scimitar on blocking duty when he attacks with the fire drake. Okay, killer bees. Could consider control magicing that one. So I'm gonna take two damage from the surge. Gonna go swamp. Let's first attack. Let's see what he does. I think that um, this is a glitch in the game, right? The killer bees always blocks because it makes no sense. Right to block at this moment, but I think it's a glitch in the game. Okay, so red mana. Disintegrate for two, no worries. Let's go island. Let's attack first. I could do Control Magic Birds of Paradise because then next turn I can play out my Trike, which I think is quite good and I can already win the game probably. Actually now he's, well he's not completely dead, but kind of. Um, let's take the turn. Let's see, if I attack with both, he blocks the Sangir, takes damage, goes to three, and then I can play the, the Trike. Another line of play could be to go Um, to go blue elemental blast on the fire drake, but I don't want to do that because maybe then he's got some burn or something You can take it one of my creatures who knows I'm gonna play uber safe. I'm gonna attack with both Let's See what he does It is cool to have a 6-6 six, six. I like that. Okay Take One Doesn't matter because it's colorless Boom and two damage and three damage and bye bye ape. <laughs> Ooh. Ape Maestro is gone. Wow. Even more. There's there's so many enemies that I gotta beat. I hope that the last dice is another Sengir, but I don't think so. But I hope. Probably just life. Yeah, it's just life. Okay. So I guess I gotta fight to Drake now. Hmm. I mean, this is gonna be risky. I'm just so used to having that Sengir. Remember, they also start with the with the creature in play. Now I don't for this game. Mons Goblin Raiders. Okay, that it could be worse. At least I'm on the play. <coughs> okay, start the duel. What do I have? Dark Ritual, Underground Sea, Factory, Protocol Sorcerer is actually quite good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go this into Dark Ritual and then into Royal. I mean, as long as Royal lives, it's quite good. Maybe, I mean, maybe he's got a bolt, just gotta bolt the Royal, but it is what it is. Okay, so I can go factory. Next turn I can I can cast um, can cast a Tim, kill the Goblin Raider. Yeah. The nice thing is I can use the factory to pump the uh, excess land in, so that's kind of nice. So I don't take any damage from the power surge. 
island. Okay, we've got a beautiful time walk again, right? That's awesome. So next turn, I can kill the goblin raider. I can, if I don't find land, I'll play the time walk. Ooh, wall of fire. That is unfortunate. Ah, that is really strong. Okay. Could go blue elemental blast on wall of fire. Question is, do you want to? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Um, let's do time walk. Done. Let's do blue elemental blast. Done. Let's kill the Goblin Raider. Done. Then I can attack with the Assassin, can deal some damage, take an extra turn, I can play the contract from below. Island, okay. Um, let's go contract from below. What do I have? Sank Gears and Dark Rituals. Okay, that's not super useful. So I have no counter magic, so I have no reason to keep these blue lands untapped. So let's just sing them into my factory and I'm just gonna attack for three. Let's do it. I mean, next turn I can play Dark Ritual and then into Sang Gear. So I'm good. A wall of fire. Let's ping him for one. Of course, power surge. Yes, yes. Uh, let's go islands. I gotta go dark ritual. Same gear. Okay, so that's a one five. I just gotta pass. Next turn, I can hopefully just fly over the wall of fire, deal some damage. It's really nice, by the way, to see wall of fire and power surge being used together. Um, I also played a deck, I think it's somewhere on the channel called Dragon Surge, where you combine Dragon Wealth and Chiven Dragon with power surge. It's a pretty cool deck. Mm, let's go. Change to assembly worker, boom. Somewhere. The thing is, it's just a lot of clicking, right? This game is a lot of clicking. Yeah, now I gotta click on Power Search. Okay, I could go Time Walk. Let's see, where am I at? Um, oh, I should have played the Swamp. I'm so, so bad at this game. You know, let's go Dancing Scimitar. You know what? I'm gonna take an extra turn. Um, I'm gonna ping the Hydra. And I'm just gonna take my extra turn. Let's do power search. I'm not gonna take any damage again. Okay, got drain life. That's pretty sweet. Um, let's go. I guess he's got no red mana left, so I could animate the factory and just attack with the factory and the royal. And of course, with the Dancing Scimitar to kind of fly over it. So I, I could deal two points of damage. Probably going to block the assembly. Oh, he's not going to block at all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. I guess my Hydra really likes the Wall of Fire. It doesn't want to lose it. Ooh, again, this integrates. Okay, power surge again, no damage. Trike is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I can put him on five. I can drain him for only two. Let's first attack with the scimitar. Just put him on five and then play the trike. I mean, I can ping him, put him on four, ping him again, kill him. Okay, so I can kill him next turn, hopefully. Or not, okay. Um, one, this is what I love about the trike. Even if you remove the trike, you still take the damage. 
The best thing against Triskelion is Artifact Blast, a card from Antiquities, which is a card nobody ever played, but since Strike is so popular, you see it in sideboards. It's really cool. Uh, okay. Power Surge. Gonna take some damage, but I mean, who cares? Let's kill! Kill him with the Tim! Oh man, are you kidding me? At least, at least I'm seeing the wizard, but do you see where the wizard stands? It's like ridiculous. So I gotta beat the Hydra, I gotta beat the Ape Lord, I gotta answer a question, I gotta beat the Hydra, and then... Wow, I mean, this is gonna be tough. The biggest problem is that I've got no extra life, I've got no creature that I'm getting. I just, yeah, you need a little bit of luck in the game, I guess. Even even with a deck with four time walks, I still need a little bit of luck because, you know, if I lose, they kick me out of the castle. Play first. Start the duel. What do I got? Two islands, Mamoti, yeah. I mean, look at this hand, it's not good. I mean, the, good the good news is my blue elemental blast. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that, but I'm just gonna take the damage. Take extra damage from the surge. Okay, now this is at least hopeful because now next turn I can play Tim. I think we're gonna play Blue Elemental Blast on end step here to kill the, uh, the power surge. I mean, the fact is, I didn't know that I was going to draw another land. If I would have known that, I probably wouldn't have played the Blue Alonso Blast because I could have tapped out the next turn for the Scimitar, but you simply don't know. So you got to make you got to make a choice. It saved me two points of damage. Please don't kill all my Tim. Don't do it. Okay, Wall of Fire. That's ideal. So now at least I get some value out of the Tim, even if he kills it. Okay, let's go Dancing Scimitar. I'm just gonna pass the turn. When he attacks with the Goblin Raider, I'm gonna kill the Raider. This is actually quite nice. Well, okay, let's kill the Raider. Because now I've got double mana, so I can cast my Mahamoti, I think, right? Um, let's do that. The problem, of course, is that now I still have one day. Oh no, because the power search is gone. I just have to worry about mana burn, I guess, with the mana flare. And I gotta worry about these huge, like huge, um, another mana flare, like huge fireballs. He could kill me out of nowhere with so many mana flares. That's, that's kind of scary. Let's let's tap this first. Let's see what I got. So three, okay. Um, let's cast Sengir. I could go control magic on an Onulet. You know, I think I'm gonna do that. It may sound really weird, but then I don't take mana burn and I can block Onulet and Onulet and gain some life because my biggest fear is that maybe he plays a huge fireball on my life and I'm dead out of nowhere. I do think that the way AI works, they're first gonna take my creatures, but I, I, you never know. I mean, I've lost in crazy ways in Chandler, so I'm, in, I'm just not gonna assume things anymore. Okay, there's an island. Um, it's too bad I don't have another swamp. Um, let's first just attack. Let's go. I mean, this is this is 10 damage. Exactly. This is 10 points of damage. Uh, let's play this out. I'm going to take mana burn here. There's nothing I can do about it. Let's go. I just, can you not just give me some dice? I just want to have some dice, people. Guess I got to attack the ape. This is a fire drake, you know, that's not, oh, and he's going to start as well. I mean, this is, this is scary. Oh, look at my hand. Got to take a mulligan, no lance. Swamp, swamp, dark ritual, and no black cards. 
Okay, I've got a factory at least. The factory can pump itself so I don't take damage from the surge. So that's something, but... Oh man, he can pump it twice with the fire breather if he wants to. Exactly, oh, three points of damage. Give me blue mana, please. Okay, blue mana, that is great, because now I can go blue elemental blast. But I'm gonna wait though, I'm gonna wait for him to pump, you know, pump your fire breathing fire drake, you do it. He's not gonna pump it? Okay, you win, you win the bluff. Let's kill him. And now he no longer has a sink, so maybe he's going to take some damage from the power surge. And I am not, because I've got my Mishra's factory. Okay, I've got another island. I could play Swamp. What do I want to do? Hmm. I guess I could go Swamp. I could try to attack him. Why not? Let's try to attack him, why not? Boom. Okay, it's taking some damage. I mean, I've got my Blue Elemental Blast to counter stuff. If he plays a big creature, I've got, you know, Control Magic in hand, so I'm, I'm feeling okay. Oh man, taking the damage, stupid. I could have pumped my own factory. That's not smart. That is the opposite of smart. You know what I could do? I could go Dark Ritual into Trike. Oh, that would be really good. Let's do that. Value, and I'm gonna kill these dudes. Oh, this feels so good. This is why Trike's so good. Like you get so much value out of this card, it's insane. And you combine it with copy artifact, anime, dead. I mean, ugh, you know, things get ugly real soon. If, you, if I play against those decks, it's tough because I love to play with Timmy, right? So my Timmy's just get shut out of the water. Um, okay, there's a dragon engine. You know what? I think I'm going to steal the dragon engine. I'm going to do that for two reasons. Um, I've got double control magic anyway. And if I steal it, he doesn't have a sink for the... Uh, plus one plus, you know, for the mana, for power surge, and I can also attack with the trike. So actually three reasons to steal the engine. Let's take it. The dragon engine plays a really big role in the Brothers War, by the way. Maybe I've mentioned it already, but it's a really good magic book. If you're thinking about like starting to read a magic novel for the first time, the Brothers War is a great novel to start with. Arena, the first magic book ever, is also a great one. Sure, fire breathing, man. I like it. Um, we don't want to take damage from the surge again, so I'm gonna use up all our mana. La la la. Let's do this. Um, I've got ghost ship. I've got blue elemental blast. Um, let's maybe first. I think we're gonna attack with this dude. Okay, let's go and attack. Finally deal some damage. Then we're gonna play a ghost ship. And pass him the turn. I mean, I'm feeling good. Now he's also taking damage from his own power surge, which is awesome. I mean, obviously he's playing the fire breathers because he doesn't want to take any damage. So shall, shall I get it? Um, it shows how desperate he is. Okay, there's a hippie. Oh, let's animate, assembly worker, I'll use an island. Let's go and attack. And he's dead. Okay, let's go to the question. What is the total casting cost of Marsh Gas? That's actually only one, it's also an instant. Yeah. Okay, I got a Beat this one, and then I can finally play against the Red Wizard again. The Red Wizard Diss, I should say. 
Not there yet, though. Mm, Hydra is winning the toss. That's not great. Um, do I take a mulligan? Let's see. I've got City of Brass, Dark Ritual, and Hippie, and I've got Contract from below. I think I'm going to start the duel because I've got turn one Hippie. I'm feeling quite, quite good, actually. I mean, I know I only have one land, but I've got that contract from below, so I'm, I'm feeling good. Um, let's go black. Let's go Dark Ritual. Let's go Hypnotic Spectre. So, I mean, this should work, you know. Mmm. Okay, there's strip mine. I'm actually pretty happy with this strip mine. Um, oh, what to do, people? I've got some options. I think what I'm gonna do is just pass turn and step blue elemental blast and strip and then play contract from below next turn. Or I could, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep the strip. Uh, wall of fire. I don't, I don't mind wall of fire that much. I think I'm going to take care of the power search. Well, what happened? Oh no, now I countered wall of fire. Oh no, I'm so stupid. Okay, I gotta stay focused. I don't wanna lose this game. I gotta stay focused. Uh, I'm gonna play contract from below. Black. Oh, that was a stupid mistake. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, let's attack first. Playing Island, let's pass a turn. So next turn, I'm gonna take even more damage. Oh man, that was really stupid with that. Um... Oh, with the blue blast. I mean, I don't wanna use the strip mine because I wanna play ghost ship next turn. So I'm gonna drop to seven, which is not pretty, but I think it's, it's better than using the strip. Let's go Island, let's go ghost ship. I'm gonna attack. The problem here is my hand, because my hand is 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 full of lands, like nothing to play. Oh man, underground sea, that is not great. Um what to do. Let's just attack with one. It's looking so bad. I'm at six. Like, oh no, man. I'm gonna take damage next turn. This is really bad. Okay, Hydra at least also is going down. He's on five. What? Another one? Oh, I'm gonna die, right? I'm gonna die. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, I can use at least one strip mine. No, I'm gonna die. Really? Take two damage per untapped land. I'm gonna go down to eight. What if I just tap them down? I think that's a way to survive. Okay, done. Okay, I think this is a way for me to survive, I think. Um, if I attack him with both, he's going to go down to one. He's got two untapped lands. Let's first attack him. Because then he's got nothing left in hand. Let's do that first. Okay, that's great. Um, then I'm going to play this. Oh, that was, oh, that was such a close call. <sighs> wow. 
I really thought like he's gonna he's just gonna kill me just before you know I reached the wizard and I would have to start all over again. So thank God that didn't happen. Okay, we're go we're going in. We're gonna we're gonna kill. Hopefully, win against the wizard. I'm a, I'm actually a little bit nervous. I know it's ridiculous, but I, I'm a little bit nervous. The Dragon Lord. Okay. Oh man, I've lost every toss the last like three games. Start the duel. Oh man, what do I have? I've got Dark Ritual into Hippie. Okay, can I complain? Swamp, Dark Ritual into Hippie. Hopefully that's enough. Look at her life total. It's 30. Okay, contract from below. Again, I cannot complain. Um, I'm going to play contract. I feel like I got to do it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to make a trade. I'm going to attack. I'm going to make the trade. Maybe you think it's silly, but the, the way I look at it, she's on 30, I'm on 15. I just want to get that creature out of there. I feel like I can, you know, take over the game later on. Yes, I'm going to take a damage from the power surge, I know. Okay, let me think. I've got Time Walk, I've got Dark Ritual. Um, I've got Factory. Factory is awesome. Factory is like super. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a time walk and then with the, cause I've got double island three. Yeah, I'm gonna take time walk and then um, next turn with dark ritual, I can play my multi. Okay, let's see. Gonna take my extra turn. Yes, power search. Oh, this game, clickety click. Um, I'm gonna go Dark Ritual. Oh no, I should have played. Oh, I'm so stupid. I forgot, obviously, that I should have played out an island instead of a swamp. Oh, life. Life, life is really difficult for people like me, you know? It's really, you, you can see that here. Oh man, I am, ah. Uh, why do I do this to myself? It's like I don't, I, it's like I don't wanna win in this game. I guess my mom out, you know, has to wait two extra turns. Like my whole plan was to de deploy that Modi, start hitting him for five. Oh man. At least I have my assembly workers. I mean, they're so important in this game because you have those power surges. Wow, I'm really... Obviously, I wanted to tap the swamp underneath. Thank you very much. Jeez, oh man. <sighs> you know what? I don't even have to do this now. Let's just pass the turn. I can do it on end step. Oh no, don't kill it. Yeah, you're killing it. Actually, in response to that bolt, I could have activated a few times to make sure I didn't take damage from the from the power surge. But hmm, I guess the good news is that the opponent isn't doing too much either. So I'm gonna take a risk. You're gonna play Modi, and I'm gonna attack. Next turn, I can hit for nine. And the reason I'm saying a risk is that I now have six lands on the battlefield, right? And I've got no sink. Oh yeah, sure. Play a big Sheev and Dragon. Okay, um, OK. 
Okay, I mean, I should have attacked with everything I now realize. Although he could have blocked. Anyway, let's just pass the turn. Wow, I'm gonna take so much damage from the power surge. Okay, let's just attack with everything and, and just please don't let anything funny happen, please. Let's go. Yeah, I've defeated the wizard. Yes, you've defeated the dreaded red wizard as no longer shall our evil creatures oppress the good people of Shandala. Goldsnap Forge is freed. You may take any three red spells. Oh, this is so awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Um, What to take, though? Do we have Wheel of Fortune? We don't. That's probably one of those cards I gotta win, right? Um, I'm just trying to see if there are any like ridiculously cool card. I mean, you've got Sheevan Dragon. I could go for three Sheevans. You can only pick one of each, right? Um, I gotta pick at least one Sheevan. I really don't like that art, by the way, of Sheevan Dragon. Uh, I want to go for Goblin King. I think that's really cool. Would be nice to build a Goblin deck. Mm, maybe go for a Fork? Fork is also not in there. Mm. Lightning Bolts? Yeah, Lightning Bolts kind of boring, isn't it? Um, Blood Moon is fun. Go for Blood Moon. Well, I don't know if it's fun, but I mean, it's it would be funny to play. Wow, I've defeated the Red Wizard. This is awesome. Do I want to duel you right now? Um, you know why not? Let's let's do final duel. After this, I'm gonna save the game. Let's play first. Uh, wow, look at my hand. That is really bad. Um. At least there's no power surge on the table anymore. Island. Okay, now the hand's kind of getting better a little bit. Um, let's go change into assembly worker. Let's go. Let's attack. Pass is the turn. Oh man, that, that game against the wizardess was really... I almost messed it up. I was super lucky that she just didn't do that much, but almost messed it up. And then it's even Dragon came to the table. I'm like, what? And all that mana with the power surge. That was just very scary. I do not want to play Shivan Dragon Power Surge again. It's like this game. That's what I love about this game. Like you keep just getting new deck ideas from it. It's very inspiring. Even after all these years. What? I wanted to attack with this dude. Oh, great. I mean, I was already low on mana. You're just going to kill another one. Um, I'm going to discard the Modi. I'm so far away from the Modi right now. What I really need are some Moxen. That's what I really need. I'm getting my ass kicked here, by the way. Okay, this is really good. I can go Dark Ritual. Scimitar is also quite nice. Should I do Scimitar? I'm, whatever, I'm going to do it. Like my, my Part of me just wants to cast the, the Royal, but what I love here is just the matchup that I can use this. Well, never mind. Should have gone for the Royal. <laughs> that was a bad decision. I thought Scimitar can block the Phantasmal Forces. It's just funny to do that, but... Oh, wow. Look at this. Um... This is really bad. Okay, last hit. If he attacks again next turn, I have to block. Okay, Underground C. That's not too shabby. I can do Royal... Right, and I'm now now have to block. Wow. Should 
Shall I steal the creature from him? Because I think that's that's way more fun. This is so cool. I mean, I've never had a six, seven Phantasmal Forces before. I love this game. I really do. I think for me, this game, the decks that I play against in this game, or, you know, what's old school magic for me all about, like these janky, ridiculous decks with these crazy ideas, right? Just playing this Island Sanctuary and only playing flying creatures, playing Island Sanctuary in combination with Howling Mine, by the way, which is really cool because with Island Sanctuary, you can... Um, and we see beautiful Sarah, by the way. With Island Sanctuary, you can choose not to draw a card, and then your opponent may not declare attacks with um, uh, with creatures that don't have flying or island walk, right? Those are the only creatures that can attack. Uh, but because you've got Howling Mine on board, you're still drawing a card, so it's quite cool. Okay, let's, uh, let's pay the upkeep. I mean, I'm just a big fan of, of decks like this. Um, let's go. Mishra's Factory and just control magic with Sarah. I'm so sorry, Wayne Stellion. I love your deck and I love the ideas in your deck. And actually, maybe I'm just gonna, gonna build your deck. But I don't think you're gonna win. Oh, Karma though. Oh, I shouldn't have spoken too soon. Let's see, I'm on four. What do I have? I've got a Swamp, Underground Sea, Underground Sea, and a Factory. Okay, so I'm gonna take three. So I think I'm gonna survive. But this is a close match. Karma is such a nasty card. Okay, let's just attack. Hopefully we're gonna kill him. Oh, these cards are really sweet. Underground Sea Volcanic and a Howling Mine. Yes, please. Okay, this was it for today. I've beaten uh, the Red Wizard. I'm just, I'm super happy. I'm over the moon. I'm really like, I'm feeling good, you know? Uh, thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks. And please join me again next time because then I'm going to go in the dungeon that you saw under the, the Red Wizard, Wizard's Castle. So looking forward to that. And I think that uh, we only have two wizards left, right? We've got the black wizard and the blue wizard. So yeah, I guess uh, got to kick their butts as well. But that's up for another episode. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, joining me on this uh, on this quest. Let me know in the comments below, by the way, if you've watched all 15 episodes, that would be quite cool. But there are more episodes to come. So see you guys next week. Laters. Ooh, don't forget to save, of course. That would be brutal. Save the game. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Where lie in the morning? Way day up she rises. Way day up she rises. Way day up she rises. Her lie in the morning. Put him in the long water till he's sober. Put him in the long water till he's sober. Put him in the long water till he's sober.